Hiya. Hiya. We're here in the Peak District. We're at Worksworth. <laughs> we're stopping at Worksworth and we're moving around. It's 11 o'clock on a Sunday, uh, Saturday morning. We're heading towards Cromford. We start at Worksworth. We've been up to the Black Rocks. Then we're going down the hill to Cromford, to Cromford Mills. We'll have a coffee at Cromford, Cromford Mills. And then we're walking down the canal and we're going to head back to work. So that will take a couple of hours. <laughs> I asked Dad to start the vlog this morning because I just, I can't be bothered. So yeah, we've not done a lot. Sun's just coming out. You're saying that without moving. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's Mitchell. Yes, yeah, so anyway, Mum and Dad are coming up for the weekend. Thought we'd do a walk today and get out. It's a bit miserable to begin with, but I feel like... The sun and blue sky it's is misty and a bit it's behind the clouds. Weird, look, see, look, you can see there on the video, like it's it's going to come out. Um, how far is this walk, Dad? Is it that far? Or? Uh, it's not that far, about six, seven miles. So, yeah, just, just <laughs> thought we'd check in. Roll down the expert walker with Hill. us. I've got to say, I'm an expert walker. I've not got the time, I need to retire <laughs> to be an expert walker. <laughs> Leo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> I need to hear one. <laughs> Just to remind me of what the sound is. Then I'll remind you. <laughs> is that better? That's, That's good. Better. You need to do the arms now. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's like he's won. He's won. Okay. He's won. You've won. Can you do it? No. Oh. no. I can't do it that good. Oh. <coughs> that concludes the geese of a wild geese. winning competition. I think Dad won. I think it was. I didn't have much competition, did I? Mine was good. <coughs> I didn't hear Mitchell's attempt. Oh. Ah! <coughs> you got to do the actions as well. No, I ain't <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Good morning from a rainy day in the Peak District Still with my mum and dad, I don't think I really introduced the vlog yesterday because I just, I don't know, it was one of them days. Um, but anyway, it is Sunday now. We went for a long walk yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I feel like the camera needs a, a quick clean. It's one second. You want to go for a walk? One second, say that again. It's frustrating because we want to go for a walk because there's some really good walking places around here, good things to see. But it's that flipping damp and cold <laughs> and miserable and cloudy. Yesterday it was misty. nice it's in the afternoon misty. though, Dad. Yeah, it was, it was. But then but today, it, the contrast, it the now. contrast today, it's awful. It so I think we're going to take a drive into Matlock Bath. There's some nice arcades there. Some 2P machines. God, Bath I ain't, ain't done, done them for <laughs> 30 years. Um, they do some nice hot donuts as well. They also do a little golf thing in stores or something. Yeah. Golf? Yeah. Mini yeah, it's like an indoor what, golf. Indoors, well, we can play out. No, it's an indoor golf thing. Oh, that's... Mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yours. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have a little look in Matlock Bath. Then might go to Matlock because there's an M&S. Get some stuff to maybe cook a roast dinner. Oh. Mm. I really fancy a roast dinner, don't you? Just in the amusement. Mum is living her best life on the machines, isn't she? Oh, she's the biggest kid. To be honest with you, Dad says about more but look how much she's enjoying them. You what? I says you're living your best life with GP machines. Oh, don't get on top. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 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 
Okay guys, I am back from Matlock now and my dad and Mitchell have actually gone home. They wanted to get home in time to watch, I think it was the five o'clock kickoff, honestly, boys and football. I mean, I like football, but them two, well, Mitchell especially, it's on another level. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry that this vlog has been so here, there and everywhere and I haven't really fully vlogged the weekend like I probably would do normally, but as I've mentioned, I don't know if I've really properly mentioned, but I've just had so much going on at the moment. Obviously, it was an absolute disaster, drama, and yeah, just, I don't even have the words to describe getting down to the Beat District. I mean, I filled you in with all that drama. Then my health obviously hasn't been great, and actually, since then, I've had not an update on my health, but basically, since then, I have been to the doctors and just basically had more bad news and health issues to be honest with you so yeah I mean it's nothing I know 100% anyway at the moment it's all like up in the air I've got to go to the hospital and have further checks so who knows fingers crossed it's all going to be okay but yeah that's why I've been a little bit here there and everywhere and I just honestly have so much going on personally at the moment um but I'll fill you all in when I know I and mean, if it comes with anything or I, I don't know do you know what I mean it's all just a bit I don't know at the moment basically I mean I know that probably doesn't make any sense but yeah I don't really want to say anything until I know but then equally when I find out and if it's nothing then I will tell you as well because obviously it's important the whole situ it will make more sense when you find out what's been wrong with me if that makes any sense because that doesn't really make any sense okay I'm gonna shut up but basically long story short just going through something personally and health wise at the moment so that's all we need to say on that i'm just trying to keep my mind off it keep busy keep my mind occupied and i'm so thankful that my mum is actually here this week um to spend a nice week in the peak district with me i feel like it's not done me any favors having these issues arise whilst i've been in the peak district on my own like it always happens i feel like in freeze like, I think everything's just happened all at once. I don't even know if it has been freeze. It may be more than freeze. But, yeah, everything always just seems to happen all in one go and at the worst possible time. Like, this has happened right before I move in. Like, it, honestly, it's it's wild. And, like, last week, I just felt a little bit all over the place. Obviously, just didn't feel up to vlogging. Uh, but I've managed to move all of my work back until the end of the month now, which I'm so, so incredibly thankful for. I'm really thankful to brands being understanding with that, too. So, yeah, that means... The next week i'm going to try and vlog so i'm kind of still going to be doing a bit of work but also me and mum are just going to get out explore the peak district and just have some time together which i just feel like i really really need so yeah that is the updates there but like i say mitchell and my dad and mom obviously came down for the weekend spent some time with me so that was really nice i felt like i just really needed that really took my mind off it all and yeah just nice isn't it spending time with your family we did a really nice walk yesterday which you'll have saw went for a nice meal yesterday too and then this morning we just went into matlock and obviously the weather was horrendous so all we did was just go to the arcades and we stopped actually at a really nice coffee shop in matlock for oh i had a cheese scone which was delicious and just a cup of tea so yeah we've had a nice morning um we nipped into matlock like main matlock that was matlock bath that we was in but we nipped into the main bit of Matlock after because they have a real nice M&S food there and I said to mom do you know what because it's Mother's Day today I'm going to get you all the bits for a roast dinner I'm going to cook a nice roast dinner obviously there's so much here for two so I'm going to split everything in half and then we're just going to have roast tomorrow as well because why not so M&S actually have a meal deal on for Mother's Day they always do these kind of things don't they for special occasions and I think it's a decent price to be honest with you let me show you obviously i feel like in your supermarkets you may be able to find slightly cheaper meal deals but it's mns do you know what i mean nothing compares to mns so it was a main and free size for 20 pound so we have this pork crackling joint with a rich gravy chew oh i didn't realize it come with great oh it's not a lot of gravy is there so yeah we've got that big bit of pork which we're gonna have but then we've got these spring greens peas with garlic and mint butter yummy we've got this cheesy green vegetable bake oh my goodness that looks sensational we got the imperial carrots and red onion i might put a little bit of honey on them to be honest with you and do them like honey roasted and then obviously we picked an extra side up this was 264 reduced we thought we'd get the smashed potatoes with a herby salsa verde drizzle and then i also just picked up some yorkies because you've got to have some yorkies on a roast so anyway i'm gonna pop this in the oven now really looking forward to a good roast i feel like if anything can cheer you up in life for me personally it's a good old roast dinner why is that just the cutest thing ever <laughs> he's living his best life <laughs> 
Dinner is served. Mother's Day dinner by M&S. This looks delicious, doesn't it? It's really good. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so it's Monday now. I thought I'd just pick up the vlog. Me and Mum haven't actually done an awful lot today. Just because I've had quite a bit of work to get done this morning and there was a deadline. So, yeah, we've just stayed in and done that, haven't yeah. we? Mum has helped me, though, so that's been good um and i feel so relieved now i've finally sent that off and it's three o'clock so we thought we'd venture out mum actually had a yodel to post mm. posting stuff even whilst we're in at the peak <laughs> district so we just actually found a little corner shop just on an estate somewhere didn't oh, we? it, but it, it literally took us all around the back way of matlock like the roads were scary to, to be honest with you but anyway i'm a good driver so <laughs> managed it do you think you'd have managed them roads mum of course I don't know if you would have. I've ordered on. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've seen your driving more. No, you have I not. have got an awful spot there today. I don't know what's with these spots at the moment, guys. And I've got two on my net and they're like weird. Do you know like they're not pickable spots? The pimples. No, they're like annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway, me and Mum thought we'd come and do a little mini food shop. We have got our dinner, Sunday dinner again for tonight, haven't yeah, we? Seven. So that MS meal deal that we bought yesterday. Initially we were gonna do it for like me, yeah. you, Mitchell and Dad Mitchell and Dad, yeah. But they wanted to get back so they could watch the five o'clock kickoff. Yeah. How ridiculous. And we missed a really good dinner. The dinner was sensational. Do you know what? Considering it was all like pre why does your phone always go off? Sorry. It's so annoying. <laughs> Considering it was like a pre-packaged, ready-made M&S one, sometimes I feel like when it's all like ready-made, it can be a bit hit and miss. But it wasn't really ready-made. The, the pork was put in, you have to put it in the oven. No, no, no. But you know, like sometimes when you get like a cauliflower cheese from a shop, it's, yeah. they're not always that like, taste. Yeah, I know. But obviously it's M&S, so it is going to be, it was so good. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I did. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, we've got leftover pork. What else do we have leftover? Oh, carrots. We've got, we've got leftover. Uh, Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings. Um, we have got a bit of veg. Yeah, and we mum even saved like we didn't plate all the veg up. So mum's like literally saved like a bit of like gratin and a bit. Of... <laughs> we could make bubble and squeak. What's I don't know what bubble and squeak. It's potato and all your left vegetables, and you make it into like a little fritter. I'll let you do that because I haven't got a clue. Well, they haven't got any mash. No. So anyway, we're gonna. Go in Sainsbury's now, we're in Matlock. Have a look, I love Sainsbury's. I was just saying to Mum, like, if there's one supermarket that I love to go and mooch around, it's Sainsbury's. Mm. Isn't it you? Yeah, it's got a nice homeware. And... Love the homeware, the clothes are really good as well. I just love Sainsbury's, to be honest with you. And I just feel like they have a good selection of food. Yeah. Just, and yeah. I think it's just slightly cheaper than M&S. Yeah. But it's... it's still quite, like, yeah. nice, higher-end. Oh, they've got good um, hot cross buns in Sainsbury's as well. <laughs> no, they really have. Oh, they've got the lemon ones. Oh, have they? Yeah, so anyway, we're going to Sainsbury's for a mooch. To be honest with you, we would be doing a walk, but it's not the greatest of days. It's not raining, yeah. so we could have, but it's a little bit later, so we just merely venturing out today just to go and do a bit of food shop, and then I feel like tomorrow, providing all my work's done early, We'll get out and do something. Our friend's quite fancy a bike ride this week. What about you? Yeah, I can do a bike ride. Yeah. My legs are hurting from the blooming walk on Saturday. My shins. I was saying to my mum, like, do your shins hurt? She's like, no. <laughs> the Mitchell's does. <laughs> you wimps. Yeah. yeah. Right, anyway, let's go. Mum's even got a bag for life with a look at it. Yeah. Our organisation is that. <laughs> Okay, so me and we're just looking at the Easter egg selection because I need to start thinking about what one to get Mitchell and also the kids. And we just noted something, right? So you have to be quite savvy when you look at Easter eggs because I feel like they inflate the prices just on based on packaging. So for example, this one's five pound for 241 grams. Whereas, so you're only getting like an extra 40 grams for two pound. Yeah. Essentially. So is that worth it? 40 grams of chocolate for an extra two pound. And then if you compare these, so these are 220 grams. 231. Yeah, and this is 240. And then we was looking at these big ones that are 12 pound if you don't have a nectar card or 10 pound if you do. And these are only 380. So then again, it's only like an extra 130 grams yeah. of chocolate for nearly... Oh. For an extra five a month. So you can get two of them for £6.50. £6.50. And you get more. Yeah. I, I think that's better. And then also you can get two different variations. Yeah. So I feel like for me, I'd get Mitchell a twirl orange. What other one do you think he would like? Crunchy? Yeah, I'd say either Crunchy or a Whisper. 
But Twirl and Whisper are about the same, aren't they? Yeah, but one's orange and one's plain. Oh, he could get an orange and plain. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he does love a galaxy, Mum. How much these galaxy? Oh, so we've got another example here. So this one is £3.25 and you get 192 grams. And this one you get 70 grams more for an extra two pound. Yeah. So again, it's not like you basically just get an extra bar of chocolate. Yeah. So, so you, you better to get that. that you get two, well, you use different chocolate in that. Well. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, to be fair, I'm not that into my uh, minstrels, to be fair. I mean, I know Mitchell likes Gallic, sir. What have we got this year? Reese's. I do like the fact that with these, though, Mum, they've made the actual. Yes, yeah. I think that's why the price is up on these as well. If you get an extra card, get it for £10. No, I just thought, it's just the packaging. Yeah. The packaging looks yeah. fancy. You're getting yeah. one egg and one bit of chocolate. Because, yeah. I mean, you look at the egg. What bar of chocolate do you get? Is it just a small one? You get... Um, one bar of fruit nut. One bag of chunks. One bag of chunks. Yeah, so how many chunks do you get? God knows. Hmm. Spiked some more eggs. We've got the Lindor egg. Show what I've gone off lint chocolate nowadays. No. I don't know, it's nice, but it's sickler. Mm. You can't have a lot of it, can you? Like, I do like the chocolate. No, I do. I take that back. <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to say is it's very sickler. Yeah. You do a dark chocolate egg. You forget all the but... mm, Yeah, she likes dark chocolate, doesn't she? Oh my god, guys, found the hot cross buns. They do triple berry hot cross buns. They also do chocolate salted caramel, which look insane. Oh, sticky toffee. Yeah. They sound nice. Oh, and then I've had these ones already, the lemon and white chocolate. They are delicious. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. We actually only have a few days in the Peak District, even though I feel like it's only just started our journey. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd get out today. It's a little bit later. We've had... A little bit of a chilled morning. Mum laid in until nine o'clock. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I couldn't believe it. I was up at six. I was just like on my phone, just editing a few TikToks and well, stuff. I was and I thought, is she going to wake up? And I thought, she's actually not. So I thought, I'll leave her to lay in. And I probably doesn't get much of a lay in. I'm not too sure, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> um, so then I thought, right. If she doesn't wake up before nine, this was about ten to yeah, like I I'm was, gonna have to wake I was her up. Awake early you wasn't that. on. Yeah, but I went back bed. <laughs> so you yeah. So I went downstairs to make mum a cup of tea, then I was gonna take it up to her if she didn't wake up. But then I think you must have heard me because you yeah, woke up. I woke up with, I didn't hear you. I didn't even know you were downstairs. Oh did you not? So how did you wake up? Like you normally do. <laughs> you just randomly <laughs> woke up. Well, I don't think I was. Completely... You were snoring. You was out. Yeah, you was. was. You was. You was full on out. So I like peeked in and I thought, oh, she's still asleep. Um. Anyway, we have decided to venture to Ashbourne today because I've never actually been here. And one of our subscribers actually mentioned that they live around this area and said it's really nice. There's a few nice cafes. I mean, typically we'd probably go for a long walk or something somewhere because obviously there's so many beautiful walks to do around the Peak District. But the weather isn't that great. I feel like the weather forecast changed a little bit from when we first had a little look at the weekend it's i feel like sky there. but yeah no to be fair it is clearing up i feel like i can see the shiny thing in the sky can you yeah well, like it, it's over sky. there mum oh i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera but look it looks sunny behind the clouds and there is actually blue sky that way so yeah fingers crossed the sun does come out but obviously because it was a bit iffy weather before rather than like go for a walk today we would just go and walk around Ashbourne and have a little explore mm. because it's supposed to be a cute little peak district village and like I say a few coffee shops and whatnot so that's what we're gonna do any more POAs we do still want to do the Carsington water eight mile yeah. is it a loop we'll probably yeah. do that tomorrow actually I think what do you think yeah could do that tomorrow yeah. that walk um I mean we could always do a little walk this afternoon yeah. somewhere it just depends if it comes sunny, we could. Um, but yeah, anyway, there looks quite a lot of little shops and stuff here. So let's go and have a little explore of Ashbourne. Easy come and easy go. You're an Gentle of the kind that lifts you up, no matter how far apart. 
Okay, so we took a little coffee pit stop. We we're at somewhere called Bear. It's really cute in here. It's very like aesthetic, isn't it? I've got a ice latte with caramel. Mum has got a latte. Just a latte with no sugar. Um, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Show you around. I they've got the ring. That's their own coffee, isn't it? Yeah. My God, my camera screen is literally hanging on for dear life. They've also got some really nice baked goods. Okay, we just found this shop called Sticky Fingers and I've noticed jelly cats, so we're going in. We are in jelly cat heaven. Oh my god, mum, look, there's a sausage dog. How yeah. adorable is that? You know, a key ring sausage dog. Oh, I really like the owl for some reason. That little owl is just adorable. No, this is the one. That is the one. Ben got um, Hannah a really nice grey cat that was so cute. Okay, we are back at the cottage now. Mum has just put some soup on for us. We didn't end up going for brunch, did we, Mum? No. Just for, I don't know, like the first place we went to was quite spenny, wasn't it? It was like £14 a brunch. Just seems quite, I mean, there were cheaper ones. I think not the non-aesthetic ones, but we'd only parked the car for two hours. Couldn't bother to go back and you know what I mean? So we just thought we'd get some soup. We had some bread at home anyway. So we just got some bread. Also got, did you warm the cheese scone up? Mm -hmm. Or we got the cheese scone from the bakery that we had. Cup of tea. And yeah, I think we might walk down to Carp this afternoon to get some bits for do some Easter baking maybe. So yeah, I'm going to talk in because I'm starving. Look at that state at that spot. Going down now. Yeah, I feel like it's not. Anyway, me and Mum are in the kitchen. Say hello, Mum. Hi. <laughs> we look a bit scruffy. I do, I do. What was that time you put a fridge for you? Yeah. We're, just, we're just living our best cottage life, aren't we? Mm. Um, we've had a really nice dinner. I don't know if I've shown you that. Um, it was quite basic tonight, but I feel like we stripped it back because we had a roast dinner for two nights and a big heavy dinner as well, didn't yeah. we? So I didn't even put too much um, teriyaki marinade on our salmon, so we had quite a plain dinner. Um, but oh, I'm be naughty, yeah, I saying that, all in moderation, we thought we'd do some baking in the cottage tonight because obviously just with the manic couple of weeks I've got ahead with moving and stuff, I'm probably not going to find too much time to bake, am I? Yeah. And I feel like I'm going to miss out on Easter baking today. Today? <laughs> this this year. Um, so we thought we'd do some baking. Obviously, mum is the main chef, oh, no. connoisseur of baking. You do a lot of baking. Why was you baking these for work the other month? Um, what was your reasoning behind that? Basically, mum made some Rocky Roads for work the other month, and they were so good. I swear they were like the best Rocky Roads I've ever had. Yeah. So what, why did you make them for work? Um, because they were, they want they asked for them. Did that? Yeah. So yeah, and was this the same recipe? Uh, we've, we've tweaked it today. Have we? Yeah. No? <laughs> it's mum's recipe, not mine, so I, I can't having, take any we're credit. Having, we're making it more Easter. Yeah, so, but is this a recipe you normally use yeah. other than tweaking it? So, we're doing Rocky Roads, as I've said. We've got milk chocolate digestives here. Do you normally use plain digestives? We do, but they're with expense. <laughs> but will they be fine? Yeah, yeah. They've just got chocolate. Crunchies. Oh, I love a bit of crunchy in the, in the Rocky Road. Butter. Galaxy chocolate, some marshmallows, some golden syrup, and we've got an assortment of little mini eggs there. We've got mini eggs and some smarty eggs. And then we've also got some bits to top it too. So what do we do first, Mum? We have to melt the chocolate first. Melt the chocolate? Yeah. Okay. So, right, I'm just, I might put you on a time lapse the rest of it, um, but I will leave Mum's recipe in the description if you want to check it out and make them. Okay, guys, so step one, melt the chocolate. What did you say we need to do with this? Just like 30 second blasts. Yeah so we don't burn it. Okay guys, so we've melted the chocolate and now we are melting the butter. And then what do we do after that, Mum? Um, put the butter and the golden syrup together. Yeah. And then it's easy, you just combine all the ingredients. And I, I don't know, I mean, I was gonna say it, I didn't realise, but I didn't think you actually baked it, but obviously Mum's just saying it's a no-bake, so it is really easy, isn't yeah. it? Okay, so now Mum is putting the golden syrup into the butter. At this point, I'm basically just camera person. Okay, we're now tipping the bitter and golden syrup mixture into the chocolate. And as you can see, mum is mixing in. Okay, so all you simply have to do now is add your biscuits in. Just make sure everything's all chopped up as well. Yeah. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. 
I didn't realise it was this easy. I've never made Rocky Road. Crunches? Oh, love some crunches in the Rocky Road. Not got many in there, have we? Our Easter edition chocolates. Well, I'm going to put it in the fridge and then we're going to put some melted chocolate on top and add some more bits on. What now? Not yet. Oh, okay. Set. That's what the right size because we've gone for the big one, wouldn't it? Okay. Here it is. All served in the tray. It's got to go in the fridge. How long would you like to put it in the fridge for? Until it's set. Maybe an hour. An hour? Oh. Okay. So, this has been in the fridge for about how long would you say now, Mum? About an hour. About an hour. And we've just melted some more chocolate and we're going to put this on the top and then decorate it. Well, I guess that's why. It's worth like a die. My okay, guys, so we let the Rocky Road set again with all the chocolate and bits that we decorated. And here is the finishing results. We have just been munching on the end bits because we wanted to cut them up so they're kind of like presentable. And um, obviously, you can cut them up how you want, but we've just chose to do little squares. Well, not little, they're big. What would you normally cut them up smaller than that? Well, they can do, it depends how much. Mm, to be yeah. fair, it's quite sickly, isn't it? Well, it's not sickly, but... Um, oh, it's all chocolate. Mm. Um, but it, anyway, it tastes delicious, doesn't it? I feel like it needs to go back in the fridge, though, because it's already melted. Mm. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave the re re receipt. Really I'll leave the review in the description. <laughs> review, not the review, the recipe. <laughs> Mum's told me I need to come back on and do a taste test, but I look absolutely disgusting. Don't get <laughs> Well, yeah, why am I going to come in here? Oh. I just took a bite, Mum, and the egg hit the top of my mouth. Hey, what? <laughs> it hit the top of my mouth, the egg did. <laughs> mm. So good, guys. 10 out of 10. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Honestly, I was just saying to mum, like I don't know where my beginning and ends are of each vlog because I just feel like I pick up the camera all the time at the moment and vlog, but then it's only when I get to edit that I see how much footage I've got and I'm like, oh my goodness, like I can't have that as one whole vlog, else would be there for three hours. So it's actually Monday today. It is the 18th of Monday. 18th of Monday? 18th, 18th of March. Honestly, I'm not even with it. Um, and me and mum are actually down in Surrey at the moment. We came down yesterday because I actually had a little bit of work to do for... McCure. McCure. <laughs> I always say it wrong, McCure Hotel. Um, you might have saw that I did some work for them. Actually, it was about a month ago now, yeah. wasn't it? But yeah, I um, had another stay with the hotel brand um, and did a little bit of wedding content, which was really cute. Um, I didn't vlog that just because, yeah, I was just busy doing the work. But today is Monday and we've got a bit of free time before we go back home. I mean, we could just go back right now, but we never come to Surrey. Like, this is the first time yeah. I've ever been to Surrey, this part of England, to be honest with you, because it's just down from London. Like, I don't really come down from London. Like, the furthest I normally go is London on the train. And then, obviously, when I've been younger with you, I've gone Devon, yeah. places like that. But I never come past London, really. Do you? I think, how many, is is it about three hours here? No, like, well, I, two, and a half. two and a half. So it's not even that far, really. No. I'd say, like, it's probably not, I was going to say it was it's, it's easy as Manchester Drive. But, like, Manchester Drive is two hours, 20. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like Manchester's maybe a little bit straighter to get to. Yeah. Um, the M25, isn't it? Yeah, but that's still an M road. But then you come off and you're driving. I don't know. I don't really know. To be fair, it wasn't a bad drive down it. So there's not really any excuses. I've just never really thought to explore this part of England. That is all. But it's actually so cute. And basically, basically, guys, I love the holiday. It's one of my favourite films in the entire world. Like, yeah, just my favourite film. And I know that that's filmed in Surrey. So I had a little Google and mooch to see whereabouts in Surrey it was filmed. And it's filmed in a place called Sheer, which is actually, well, it was 18 minutes from where we were staying. So I said to mum, like, rather than just drive and go straight back, let's go and see a little bit of Surrey. Like, let's explore. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's so many other cute places other than Sheer, but as I don't know where they are, and I know from watching the holiday that that place that was filmed was really cute. I thought, let's go here. Um, and we've just through it and how adorable is it oh, that other village was really nice yeah there was a village we come to just before Shearer as well which you probably could actually walk to i don't think it'd be far no. could always walk there um but yeah it's adorable it's very like it's giving cotswolds vibes mm. isn't it like cotswolds peat district yeah. oldie woldie just adorable like me and mum was saying you just don't get this type of place 
anywhere else in the world really no, do you like it's no. very english <laughs> english yeah, country typical english yeah english countryside oldie oldie vibes yeah. um so yeah just parked up in the little free car park which is quite handy which is nice yeah cause... you know, never get a free car park do you <laughs> Surprised not charging yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're just going to go out and have a little mooch around Shear and just see all the sights of where Cameron Diaz and Jude Law shot. To be fair, I don't think there's many places. I know there's a pub. Uh, I mean, I've not come directly for that. I just actually wanted to have a little mooch around the village. Um, but yeah, there's a little coffee shop as well. So I thought I'd just pick up the vlog and um, bring you along because you might be interested. I feel like I look like a mole rat today. My hair is just greasy, but anyway. It's not even, well, it's not saying much again either. It's drizzling now. Mm. It was so nice yesterday afternoon, wasn't yeah, it? it? Like, was how sunny was it? English weather is finest. Right, let's go. Okay guys, please excuse the absolute state of me. I have just got in from Surrey. I'm really sorry that the Surrey content was actually quite short. We literally just went to that little village called Sheer. Like I said, had a mooch around, had a coffee, which by the way was so awful. I asked for an iced latte and it was literally almost like a black iced coffee. It was honestly undrinkable. Um, I probably should have said something, but I didn't, I just left it. Um, and yeah, then we just thought we best head back just with how like traffic can be and obviously the M25 was closed this weekend Which meant chaos, but it was actually supposed to be back open today So me and mum was like, oh, it'd be no problem driving back But then there happened to be a massive crash on I think it was the M25 near Heathrow So yeah, it took us like an hour to get out of Surrey I think it took us in the end like three three hours I'm gonna say to get home so bit chaotic to say the least it's about three o'clock now so yeah i've not long been back i've had a cup of tea which was what i just do you know like when you get in and you just need a cup of tea that's what i really needed seen the cats because obviously i've missed them overnight and um, got myself sorted and yeah i just thought i'd actually give you a little airbnb tour because i've not even shown you where i'm staying by the way if i'm speaking quiet it's because i'm in a terraced house and i feel like the walls are so thin i feel like i can hear conversations so like loudly just through that wall so I feel like really conscious when I'm on my own of like how loud I'm speaking um but yeah I'm just staying more local as I've probably mentioned for the final week until we get the keys to our own house I just thought it kind of made sense just to come back and be in Leicester as opposed to being the Peak District it's just going to mean that when it comes to getting the keys on Friday, I haven't got to do like a long drive in the morning I can literally just go not too far down the road so yeah and also it's actually just really nice just to be back local, be able to see Mitchell, my mom. I mean, I was with my mom last week, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, anyway, I'll do a little Airbnb tour. So this one actually cost me, like, not far off what it cost for two weeks in the Peak District. So that was a massive reason as well why I went to the Peak District and never stayed local to begin with, because what I paid for two weeks in the Peak District was nearly one week in Leicester. Like, I don't know why it's so expensive to rent an Airbnb in Leicester compared to the Peak District, but it really is. Okay, so I'm literally just in the front room right now. So this is the little living room area. So it's all decorated quite like nice and modern. Um, it's clean, it's got a TV little sofa there and then that's obviously just onto like the main road so it's quite noisy if i'm honest um but yeah that's all nice and then they've got this big mirror on the wall which i actually really like i think it makes the room look a lot bigger as well when you've got a big mirror um and then if we just come here so it's basically like two down two up kind of thing pretty similar to like mine and mitchell's old house and then we just come into the kitchen Let's pop a light on just so it's a little bit brighter. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. Again, nice and modern, clean. This is all just full of like glass and stuff. There's so much um, cutlery and, you know, pots and pans and stuff, which is always good. They also left out some like tea and coffee bits and bobs, which is always really cute. Um, I mean, them coffees are mine, but these ones were the, what was left. And there's also tea bags and sugar and some milks in the fridge. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. Really nice and spacious, good size. And then also in here, it's almost like a little pan 
inventory. I've just put my cat stuff on the shelves in there. But yeah, I think they've got some cleaning bits and bobs. And also, you probably won't even be able to see it. Buddy is hiding at the back there because, as you guys know, Buddy is a covered cat. So anywhere that's dark, he he's at basically. So yeah, that is the kitchen. And then, very simply, we just go up these stairs. I mean, if it was me personally, I'd get rid of this because this this isn't very nice on your feet. Like, it feels really rough. But anyway, that's just personal choice. Um, and then, this is the master bedroom. What I love about Terry's house is actually, is, do you know how high the ceilings are? It always makes everywhere feel a lot bigger. Um, to be fair, Terry's house is a decent size, but yeah, anyway. I digest um so yeah this is the master bedroom again really nice like nicely decorated spacious there is boo just chilling um and then again we also have like this little cupboard in here has a little light in so that's quite cute i've not put anything in i've decided not to pack because like i say i'm literally it's monday today so I, by thursday i'd have to be packing again anyway it's only a few days so i'm literally just living out my suitcases so yeah that is the main room oh i also forgot to show you there's some cupboard space there if it focuses again like really nice also love the fact there's a mirror i feel like the owner of this is the girl so she knows to put a mirror in got a radiator there which is quite a nice radiator there's another mirror there so many mirrors and then move on to the bathroom again really nice and modern um nice bath and shower i really love the blue tiles actually i think they look really nice again really good size mirror that's a massive mirror to be fair i also really like this little vanity station blue it goes all nicely um so yeah it's a really nice like I say, little bathroom again, decorated nice, nice and modern. And then there's also a spare room. And this is the spare room. Um, to be honest, this bed isn't the best. Like I kind of like just sat on it. And I feel like it's one of them where you can feel, unfortunately, all of the springs in it. But I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm only staying here on my own. Like no one else is staying. But yeah, other than that, it's a really nice little Airbnb um and like i say it definitely does the job for me whilst i'm here for my final week um, and also they take pets so that's also a massive bonus honestly i feel so out of breath i feel like all i've done the last couple of weeks is just like traveled here and there um so i'm actually really glad that i haven't got to go anywhere else now obviously as i mentioned the reason i was in surrey was for work so now i'm back um and yeah i'm not leaving anywhere until friday so what a relief i'm fed up with driving by now um but yeah like i say it's three o'clock now so i'm just gonna quickly do some emails because i've seen a few emails come in my inbox today from brands i need to quickly get back to and then i think i'm gonna go maybe to aldi and do a food shop um because i just need a few bits in for like the next few days i think mitchell's gonna come over and have dinner with me so that will be nice um but yeah i just thought i'd check in Okay guys, email's finished up, I'm now at Aldi. I was gonna go Waitrose, but I don't know who I thought I was thinking that I was gonna go Waitrose, because I mean, I would spend an absolute small fortune in there. And as we've just sent over the money for the house, that is a no-no, I need to be sensible. So, Aldi it is. Do you know what though, I do love Aldi, because I feel like when you look down at your receipt at the end, it's like, oh my God, I got all of that for that. Um, I I feel like I'm gonna do, I, I basically got some cream left over, so I'm trying to use what I've got in my cupboard. So I might do like a creamy chicken with mushrooms, onion, I don't know how to do mash and veg or potatoes, like some chopped up potatoes and veg, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna get the potatoes and I'll see how I feel. Oh, that sounds a good dinner. Um, so yeah, then I might get a couple of dinners just for the rest of the week, so maybe some salmon. Oh, I fancy a steak. I've not had steak in so long. Like that is normally one of my mine and Mitchell's go-to dinners. Might get steak. Right, let's go. Okay, guys, I've just got in. I didn't actually vlog at all whilst I was at Aldi. So I didn't end up taking you to Aldi with me. Um, but yeah, it was quite chaotic and busy. I ended up having to go to Tesco as well. Does anyone ever find that sometimes with Aldi? They just don't have everything you need. And also, every time I seem to go in there, they never have the four packs of chicken. It's either like two pack or the massive pack. So yeah, I had to go Tesco for that. And also I needed my rice from Tesco. But yeah, let me show you what I've got um, for the next four days because I just thought, go now, stock up. So I haven't got to go, keep like going back out to the shop. Um, and yeah, I've got some nice dinners in. So first things first, I picked up some bits for a poke bowl. Me and mum did a beautiful poke bowl when we were away with mango. And I always forget how much I love mango in a poke bowl. So for my veg in my poke bowl, I'm going to do avocado, cucumber, mango. 
and then some rice oh i probably should have got two packs of these rice um but yeah i got some rice to go with my poke bowl and then oh i got these these sticky barbecue chicken fire bites from aldi which are really nice so that's my poke bowl i got some celery snacking i did also get some sweet chili hummus to go with that because that's just a nice little snack um and then for another dinner i've got Monge two sugar snaps. What's the difference between monge two and sugar sugar snaps? I feel like there is actually a difference. Um, but anyway, got some sugar snap peas, asparagus, and I feel like tonight I'm either gonna do a mash or kind of like crispy wedgie potato things. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, I've got potatoes for that, and I'm gonna do chicken. So I've got a pack of chicken from Tesco. I'm gonna like flatten them down and do chicken in like a creamy mushroom and onion sauce because I've got some cream left over in the fridge and also some onions. So yeah, I thought that'd be nice. And maybe like like I say, I don't have to do mash or potato. I'm gonna see what Mitchell wants in the form of potatoes. Um, but that's gonna be tonight's dinner. So then we've got two dinners there. I'll also use some chicken stock for the sauce and some paprika or, and also a little bit of parmesan cheese. I think I have got some already but I've just got some extra. My mushrooms for the chicken thing I'm doing. I also picked up some, some fried chicken bite things. These are just in the freezer in Aldi and I just need quick, easy, cheap dinners for the week. Um, because just me here and I just need something that I can eat every day that I know I'll enjoy. So I just got some white tortilla wraps. Um, you can just literally whack these in the oven. Don't take long at all. Put them in a wrap with a little bit of mayo. With some salad. To be fair, I probably should have got some sweet chilli sauce for those as well. Damn, may pick some up. Um, but yeah, that's a quick, easy lunch. You can even have that for dinner as well, to be honest with you. And then my next dinner that I'm going to have, mind you, this is only three dinners, um, smoked salmon. I feel like I'm having these with Mitchell, by the way. I think he's going to come around every evening. So we've got salmon, and I'm going to do that again with asparagus. Sugar snap peas, because they're my favourite. And I feel like we're just going to do rice again. But I don't know. Oh, I, I've, I've messed up here. I need another carb. So, yeah, I probably will have to go back to the shop. But I do have some chicken breasts over for another meal as well. So, we will get four meals out of the meat. I just might have to go and get some extra little bits. I do have another pack of rice, actually, in the um, cupboard. Anyway, also just got some oil because I don't have any oil. That's the thing when you're, like, airbnb in and you're... I don't think they have... Oh, I think they do have some oil. Oh, the slightest bit. I'll just keep my own anyway because I don't think me and Mitch will have any. So it's all good. Um, I got some bleach as well because I just feel like they don't have any bleach. And this sink gets really stained up with like tea bags and stuff. So grabbed that. Also got a bubble bath, shower gel, best crisps ever, honey glazed barbecue. Oh my goodness, obsessed. And then I also just picked up some strawberry trifles um, just as a little sweet treat put in. And that is my little Audi haul. I feel like, well, and Tesco, it was about 40 quid for everything. Um, which isn't too bad I mean it does seem expensive but shopping is expensive nowadays guys so there you go guys I completely forgot to vlog my dinner and to be honest with you this looks awful in this lighting but it uh, is actually really nice isn't it sure. it's like garlicky chicken with mushrooms onions monge to asparagus some homemade wedges creamy well. sauce yeah it's really it's not a good not a good light because it's really dark um, but yeah just thought I'd show you what I've done for dinner I'm gonna watch some Netflix. It's like we had it Mitchell's here. In the Peak District, isn't it? Well, you had that. I didn't even have mm, that. Well done. Mm. Good evening, guys. Me again. Once again, coming back on the vlog in present time to film an outro because, yeah, I feel like this vlog, if I'm honest, was just all over the place. Um, I feel like you'll probably know by now why it was all over the place, but yeah, basically, long story short, I did kind of briefly touch upon it in this video. I didn't obviously go into detail, but had some health problems. Um, it was essentially just, I found a lump in my boob. Um, but I've had the news that it's all good now and it isn't breast cancer, which is obviously like worst case scenario, what I thought it could be. Um, but yeah, that's why I feel like the whole Peak District vlogging was just an absolute shambles. I don't know, my head just wasn't really there. I had a lot on my mind. I was really anxious and obviously stressed, as I'm sure you guys can probably understand with my mum having had breast cancer and stuff. Um, and it was a real shock actually finding that lump as well because I didn't actually find it myself. I was having pains and problems there. What are you doing? Um, I was having pains and problems there and it wasn't until I went doctors that they found it. 
Um, I'll speak more about that in another video, though, because I do think it's really important to raise awareness to make sure you check your boobs. So, yeah, this is your reminder. Um, but anyway, we are currently in the new house. Yay! Um, but I've got a video, well, a moving home video and a empty house tour coming literally. I think I'm going to get this video live tonight and then you're probably going to have a couple more vlogs from me this week. Um, just a bit of backlog, really. So exciting times, not going to ramble too much, but thank you so much for watching the Peak District vlog. I know, like I say, it was a bit all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I shall see you in the next video, which will be a, I think it'll be a house tour, won't it? Yeah. The household one and then moving vlog after that. So stay tuned for the moving vlog, guys. I'm so excited to share this next chapter with you.